Sir. 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 Sir, are you aware that you have a sister relationship with bears and weasels? Hello, this is Summer speaking. Welcome to Outdoors with Sum, and today we're diving into seal evolution. So when I was researching for this video, I was really wondering where did seals come from? How do you end up with this big blubbery sock full of pudding type animal? How does that come around? And what's more interesting is it's a mammal and they're so well adapted to living in the ocean. So how does that arise? Where did they come from? I need to know. The seals at Wellington's Red Rocks will be providing the entertainment. This is a bachelor colony of about 150 male New Zealand fur seals or kekeno and they're hauling out over the winter months waiting for the summer breeding season when they can try their chances with the ladies. So um, grab yourself a nori sheet, a plant-based squid ring maybe, whatever you want. Settle in and learn about how seals evolve. So here's what you need to know about seals going into this video. Seals are pinnipeds, which means flipper-footed in Latin. Pinnipeds also include sea lions and walruses. And pinnipeds split off from other carniforms, like the bears that I mentioned earlier, around 50 million years ago. Right, settle down. So to explain this next part, we're here in the lounge and we're going to get our whiteboard out, class. So we already know that um, their closest living relatives on land were bears and uh, mustelids. So weasels, skunks, otters. The easiest way to see how these things evolved is with a tree. First on the tree, we've got our first branch here. This is the... Uh, this is the carniforms. Carniforms basically means dog-like in Latin, and that's because they've all got a snout, a long snout. This line here is your dogs, your man's best friends, your waggy tails, your wolves, your foxes, your African painted dogs, all of those kinds of things, dogs. And this one here is your bears, Ursidae. Bears. So here we're starting to get into seal territory with the bears. And down the bottom, this is where we've got our mustelids. Mustelids. There. And then this branch here is the pinnipeds. Okay, so that tree, is, it's all well and good, but you might still be wondering how did land-based um, mammals. How did they get into the water? Well, one transitional fossil changed quite a lot um, in terms of what we know about seal evolution. And that fossil was discovered in 2007 up in um, Canada, in the high Arctic, and it was named Puyula darwini. Puyula is a transitional pinniped, not actually part of the pinniped group, kind of like a proto-pinniped. So it's on its way, but it's not 100% there. Pugula had a few um, features that um, made scientists think that it, it could be a, quite a close relative to the other pinnipeds. But it had flat toes, and they think that those toes might have been webbed. It was about a metre long, um, with quite a long tail, long kind of otterish body, also quite strong, um, short legs, and it probably swam with its feet like that, rather than... The thing that made them think it was more closely related to a seal rather than an otter, though, was the shape of its skull. It had four incisors on the bottom jaw, whereas other um, mammals have six. And it also had these funny little holes, one hole underneath each eye, which is where the nerves for whiskers um, would be. And if you look at modern day seals, they have whiskers too. So where does it fit on the tree? It's probably about here. So you can see it's not quite a direct ancestor of the pinnipeds, which would be about here. It branched off at some point in time um, before the modern day pinnipeds evolved. 
that gives us a good idea of how seals may have started to make their way into the water and the discovery, discovery of Puyula was in a lake. So most likely they lived in fresh water, they probably weren't very well adapted to living in the sea yet. Seals are basically split into three main groups. So two of those are the otarids, and then you've got phocids, which are true seals. And basically the main difference is that otarids have external ears. Look at those little ears. Scientists still aren't sure whether fur seals and the other otarids split off from the phocids or whether it's the other way around. But basically they evolved 15 to 17 million years ago in the North Pacific. What scientists think is that the closure of the Central American Seaway, which happened about 5 million years ago, caused all of the oceans around the equator to cool off and that meant that seals could start spreading down into the southern hemisphere and diversifying into the forms we see today. So yeah, that's how seals evolved. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something today. If you've got any more suggestions about New Zealand species um, that I could go out and video that you might want to know a bit more about how they evolved, then do let me know down in the comments. Give it a like, give it a subscribe if you really want to, if you really like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!